Hey guys, it's James Banta here uh, from CRL, and I just want to talk about how great CRL is for anybody that joins a program or in the future to think about it. It's a really great program that anybody can join. People are actually very positive, very outgoing. They um, help you with some of your videos and they give you tips. I know Kyle has and Ryan has, and they really help you along the way, and so does the teacher, uh, Ms. Batts. And I think it's just a really positive and great program that I think anybody else can just join. It helped me a lot. It helped me make a lot of um, a lot of friends. Uh, it helped me learn how to edit like short clips and videos and stuff. I signed up to be one of the anchors and I have been for the past month or so. And it's been really fun. So I definitely would recommend um, the CRO program. Casa Robe Live is second to none at helping students explore their creative abilities. You'll learn everything there is to know about journalism and videography, and I seriously cannot recommend this program enough. And we absolutely look forward to you joining us. To learn more about the program, feel free to check out the Casa Robe Live YouTube channel or the Casa Robe Live social media page on Instagram at casa.roble.live. Hello CASA students, as you complete your course registration for the 2021-2022 school year, consider taking World Religions with me, Mrs. Cruz. The course is an academic 18-week class that will fulfill G elective credits and is open to 10th through 12th graders. It will broaden your understanding of the world's religions, including indigenous religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism, Confucianism, Taoism, Zoroastrianism, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The reading and writing components of this course will provide opportunities for you to improve your literacy skills that you use in your other academic classes. Again, consider taking world religions, but don't just take my word for it. Here's what former students of world religions have to say about the class. And I'm Marcy. And we're going to tell you why you should join drama before, before joining, joining drama. drama. You're my only friend. After joining drama. You should join drama. I mean, okay. Yeah. Dope. Cool. Benefits include an amazing experience, making new friends, help you break out of your shell, an accepting environment, and lastly, a crazy wild time. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> What's up? My name is Ryan. I am a junior at Castle Oval High School. I've taken beginning drama and advanced drama. And then I've been in, uh, what is it? Two plays? Three? I don't know. I really think that drama, especially beginning drama, is a good experience, especially for any freshman because it's very welcoming. Uh, the people there are very kind and Overall, it's just a fun class, so I definitely recommend it to anybody who is looking for that kind of thing. Cut. Welcome, I'm Miss Otero, and I'm here to explain a little bit about an elective course called Casa Roble Leadership. Casa Roble Team Leadership and Current Issues, otherwise known as Casa Roble Leadership, is an 18-week elective course that fulfills your Casa Roble Community Service graduation requirement. In this class, you're going to learn about the leadership skills and characteristics associated with positive, effective leadership. You'll be given opportunities to develop those skills. Uh, we also develop and implement school and community service projects. I'm Miss Otero, and I and both the leadership course teacher, as well as the advisor. 
Some of the school service opportunities include tutoring, our new student welcome program. We also provide staff appreciation. We're currently partnering with Breathe California to sponsor school-wide movie events. We plan and host student forums, participate in campus beautification. We're involved in social and environmental justice on campus, as well as the Youth Action Summit. In terms of our community service for the surrounding community, we assist with the Sacramento Runners Association in road marshalling at the California International Marathon. We collaborate with Orangeville Rec and Park District to help with uh, activities and events uh, that they host. We partner with Orangeville Food Bank, Sunrise Movement, and a host of other charity and nonprofit organizations. Here are a couple of students who also want to tell you a little bit about their experiences with Casa Roble leadership. There's Jenna and Alessandra. Course requirements include a minimum of 60 hours of community service and a passing grade on the community service reflective essay, both of which will fulfill the community service graduation requirement. You'll also complete leadership curriculum. You'll lead your community service project from start to finish, participate in leadership activities, including various committees, class meetings, and discussions. You'll also present your project at one organizational meeting, such as Casa Roble PTSO, Casa Boosters, staff meeting, etc. And finally, you'll display good citizenship. Again, if you have any need of additional information or you'd like to reach out to find out more about Casa Roble leadership, don't hesitate to email me at cyotero at San Juan edu. I hope to see you in leadership in the fall. Bye-bye. Hey everybody. I used to take leadership and I thought it was a great class. I had great experience, although it was on Zoom. It's a little bit different, um, but I would say collectively, even when we were on Zoom as a whole, the everybody could agree that their confidence definitely skyrocketed. Just your social skills, trying to talk to people, and then also just connecting with people and serving the community. It's just a great experience and I really recommend it. I think that you have a great time. Uh, yeah, thank you. What's up, Casa? Coach Tupper here. I'm gonna take you inside the weight room. For those of you interested in taking a weight training class next year, uh, this is gonna show you what it's all about. This is where the magic happens. This is the Gaines Lab, aka the Gaines Factory. We have bicycles, we have BOSU balls, we have racks with new weights and bumper plates. We have guys putting in the extra work overtime, Coach Delgado. That's I don't know if you're counting, I did well over a thousand. What are you guys doing in here without permission? Who are you? This is the Castle Roble weight training class. If you guys want to come get strong, if you want to come get jacked, if you're an athlete or a non-athlete, come on down. Come on down to the Gaines Lab. Come get it. See ya. Hi, I'm Andrea Hearn, and I teach the Lifetime Sports class. I'm here just to tell you a little bit about the class and what is involved. The class is really just a laid back uh, class where you can come and participate in different types of sports, fitness, uh, weight room activities, and just really get outside and have some fun during the school day. Um, we promote um, strategic thinking, team building, and we really just want uh, to give you an opportunity to go outside, have some fun, learn some new sports, um, possibly play with your friends. So it's always great if you want to 
you and your buddy want to take the class together. That way you guys have an opportunity to maybe play some flag football together, um, get in the weight room, swim. Um, really, there's no limits to what we can do. Um, it, it's not a rigorous class. There's no academic component to it. It's just about getting out there. It's an elective. Get out there and have some fun and enjoy um, being outdoors and participating in some level of activity. If it's a class that you're interested in taking and you're, you want to know a little bit more about it, feel free to email me uh, at andrea.hearn at sanjuan.edu. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about the class. Um, hopefully you guys are interested and excited to take the class and I look forward to seeing you guys in my class sometime soon. Take care. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Bradley Smith, and if you're watching this video, you're interested in taking beginning digital photography for the digital camera. Um, we're going to go over four main things before you enroll in this class, just to make sure that you're ready. The first thing that we're going to need to go over is the type of equipment you have, your camera, and the type of computer you're using for this program. The second is uh, a little timeline, um, how much time it's going to take you to complete this course. It is a semester-long course, and it is a A through G accredited course for high school, so it is a certain amount of time. The third is going to be a little information on Google Classrooms and your weekly participation, what sort of the expectation um, of work you're going to have to do every week. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is a little bit about me, your instructor. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to go over, you guys, is the um, equipment requirements for this class. There's only two. The first is you have to have an updated computer. It doesn't necessarily have to be an Apple or Macintosh or be brand new. It just has to be updated. And when I say updated, it mostly means the flash. You want to make sure that that flash is up to date. The second is the type of camera you're using. So for this program, we, you can either use your DLSR camera if you have access to a digital camera with manual mode. The other option is to just use your smartphone. However, if you do have access to a digital camera, it's um, highly recommended that you use that. Um, whether you're using a Sony or an Icon or a Canon or any other camera, just make sure that that little mode wheel on top has an M. If it does have that M, your camera does have a manual mode. So if you have those things, you're good to go. The only other requirement for this class is a genuine interest in taking great pictures. Guys, so the second thing we need to talk about is the course timeline. This course is meant to fit into a semester system, so it'll match up with the rest of your school schedule. This will cover your equipment and the functionality of it, so you know how to operate your camera uh, to its full capabilities. And then there'll also be a number of units on composition and principles and elements of design. So we offer our program twice a year, one in the spring, and there's another semester in the fall. All right, you guys, so the third thing we need to cover is your students' participation and a little bit of information on the Google Classroom system. We're going to talk about participation first. Every week, you'll receive um, your work on a Monday, and all the work is due on that Thursday. The work will typically be a multiple choice quiz um, with a video. There'll also be maybe a short answer worksheet and some discussion um, work between you and classmates. But mostly, this is all to prepare you for a photography shoot at the end of the week. Okay guys, the last thing I want to talk about is a little bit about me, your instructor. So, this course is um, not only a great option to satisfy all those credits that you need in your elective category to graduate from high school, but also this is an A through G compliant course. So all of my students who are on the college track, this is a great course for you because the grade that you receive in this class can be applied to your official transcript, which then can be used to apply to any college in the UC system. This sort of separates uh, our course. And about me, well, I've been teaching photography for over 10 years and I've been working as a digital photography, well, working as a photographer 
for even longer. I've also worked in video production and in commercial campaigns. So I have a lot of background in sort of the design field. Photography is a great tool and a great place to learn design and it can open up a lot of doors. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope I will see you um, in the next semester. And if not, maybe the semester after that, we do fill up pretty quickly. But for the most part, um, if you if you tell your, your coordinator that you want this class, um, you should probably have a pretty good shot of getting in. So thanks again, you guys, and happy shooting. Hello, my name is Mr. Owls. I'm an English teacher here at Castle Roble, and I'd like to tell you about a class that I've been teaching here for more than 20 years. It's called Literature and Film. You see, from the, from the Wizard of Oz to 2001 A Space Odyssey to the Lord of the Rings, the motion picture industry has relied upon literature for material and storytelling ideas and for really lending movies a degree of respectability. In fact, most Academy Award winning films have been adaptations of literature. Now this course explores the connections between those two mediums by looking at a variety of you know, literary forms such as you know, short stories and novels and plays and seeing the relationship to films in a variety of classic genres. Genres include see, comedies, musicals, western, sci-fi, suspense, and several others and include many of the greatest films ever made including Casablanca, Vertigo, and of course, Citizen Kane. You're wondering what we do in the class. Well, we watch film. We talk about film. We write about film. And then we watch another film and do it all over again. So, you have an interest in classic cinema, the Navy G elective credit class, right? this could be the course for you. All right, maybe we'll see you next fall. While we had it in school, um, we basically would do like worksheets sometimes and sometimes, well, once a week we would cook something. And since I was in Only Foods One, the um, recipes were pretty simple. Like we just did like chocolate chip cookies. I think we did macaroni and cheese and like salsa, but it definitely gets more and more like a little bit harder. I wouldn't say that, but definitely the Foods 2 class I'm in is more advanced, you know? But I like it a lot because cooler recipes, you know? We got to see her make all the, like, make all the foods, and she would explain the recipes to us every, like, on Mondays, she would explain the recipes to us. On the other days, she would show us, like, de demonstrate the recipes for everyone. And it, it kind of inspired most of us, like, make the recipes, that, like, choose one of the recipes every week to make. And it was just like, it was really cool. I spot Bellmule is really nice and the class is really fun and you should take it, I guess. Just understand how to cook and why it's so important. I really recommend it for people who like don't know how to cook that well or like are just kind of interested in it a little bit, you know, it's really good.